after 37 years of existing, my poor tub has cracked under my weight while showering. Not a fun sound that it makes when this happens though. We're going to start off by marking out where we'll be working, which is about an inch all around the crack. I'm marking it with a pencil for ease of viewing on video. Before we begin fixing the area, we want to stop the crack from being able to spread further. We will do this by drilling out both ends of the crack, which removes the strain on the area and mitigates the crack from spreading further as time goes on. After we have the two ends drilled out, I'm simply taking my rotary tool and beveling out the crack so that the epoxy we're using will have more surface area to hold on to. Once the crack has been beveled out, go ahead and grab some 120 or 220 grit sandpaper and scuff the area. Feathering out the edge about an inch from the crack, this will help essentially key the surface so the epoxy can better adhere to the area. After the area has been sanded, we want to go ahead and remove any debris and or oil from the surface, which is easily done by using some 91% isopropyl alcohol on the area and wiping it down. The epoxy of choice for this fix is JB Weld's Marine Weld. Now, this stuff is bright white, so unless your tub is also bright white, it won't match, but you could always tint the epoxy with a tiny bit of paint. Simply squeeze out equal parts of the epoxy and hardener into a mixing tray and thoroughly mix it together for about a minute. You only have a few minutes to work the epoxy, so stir quickly as to avoid having it set up on you. Once it's mixed, go ahead and simply apply the epoxy to the cracked surface, making sure to apply a bit more pressure at the ends where we drilled the holes to ensure it really seeps into the hole for a stronger bond. Gently spread the epoxy across the whole area and leave it to sit for a few hours. The texture won't match, but you could always use a texture pad to add texture to the surface if you cared. Thank you. 
Once the epoxy is dry, go ahead and grab your 220 grit sandpaper and sand the area again, leveling out the epoxy and removing any high spots. And that's all there is to fixing a crack or hole in a tub. I'd recommend waiting at least 24 hours before use for the epoxy to fully cure though. As always, if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all new content as it comes out. Stay tuned for the next video where I go over actually fully epoxying the whole tub to refinish it. And that's all for today's short video. I hope it was informative or helpful. Until next time, thanks so much for tuning in, take care.